The 6-3 Tampa Bay Buccaneers are on the road this week in Carolina to face the 3-6 Panthers, who are looking to snap a four-game losing streak. All four of those losses, though, really close calls. That is going to sail. Falling in four straight games by eight or less points is frustrating, but the Panthers are young, and the fact they're hanging with everyone in Matt Rule's first year should also be encouraging, and so should the play of their passing offense. Bridgewater has a man open. Teddy Bridgewater threw for over 300 yards, two TDs, and a passer rating over 100 against a very tough Chiefs secondary. Bridgewater going to sail one for Anderson. Good catch. The Panthers' passing attack is multifaceted, too. DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson, Bridgewater's go-to guys in most games. The field. Anderson has a block. But then last week, it was Curtis Samuel who played the star of Carolina's receiving core. Here's Samuel on the flip. Has a block from Davis, and Samuel in. And of course, there was Christian McCaffrey, who finally made his return and played just as well as he always has. But CMC hurt his shoulder at the end of the game, so it looks like they'll be missing number 22 yet again. That should make it a little easier on the Bucks' pass defense that is coming into this game a little shaken. It throws wide, wide open. Tampa Bay was unable to slow Drew Brees down last week like at all. He was 22 of 26 against them, four TDs, giving up a rating over 130. Brees again, great protection throws, and that will be caught. Now, their offense also has to shoulder a lot of the blame for those numbers, and Tampa had been playing the pass well going into that game. Their season numbers on this front still in solid territory. Breeze in the pocket. Whoa. And even in last week's thrashing, the one thing Tampa Bay still did well was stop the run, maintaining their status as the league's top rush defense. Nowhere to run that time. If the Panthers do try and test them along the ground, it'll likely be Mike Davis who gets all the carries. And he's had some good games filling in for McCaffrey. Mike Davis powering his way up near the 35. But check out the numbers when you flip the rush conversation around. Carolina held KC to 2.5 yards a carry last week on just 12 carries. That is not going to go anywhere. The Bucks' rush offense last week, historic. Five runs, one of which was a kneel down. Tampa, the first team in 87 years to run that little in a single game. Nice run here. So let's focus on what they did do, which was pass the ball, mostly to the other team. Brady under pressure again. Throws just. A, throws up a prayer. Tom Brady had one of the worst games anyone's ever seen him play. No TDs, three interceptions, a 40.4 passer rating. Look out, and it's picked off. Obviously, that's not how he's looked in most games, just both games against the Saints. His two worst outings now both coming against New Orleans. Pick it up, throws into traffic, and it's going to be hauled in and picked off. And what about the Panthers' pass D? It faced 45 Patrick Mahomes pass attempts last week, 372 yards allowed, four TDs, rating over 120. Firing but like Brady, last week isn't an accurate reflection of how they've played for the year. Their just don't get beat deep philosophy usually keeping them in games. So what do you think? In your mind, are you going with Carolina? Or can you see the sunshine shining down on the Bucks behinds? My apologies to James Taylor. Get your predictions into the comments section. As you do that, I will take some singing lessons and leave you with some predictions from our picks panel. So went for about fourth down and resulted in a touchdown. Here's Samuel on the flip. Has a block from Davis, and Samuel is in! Touchdown, Carolina! To halftime. Pressure, they get to him, but he gets it away again, and Mike Evans, there he is, there's your man.